Warning, this video could be quite dis disturbing. Thank you, and please watch out. This case took place on June 23rd, 1987, when when did Leo, 25, was found dead in a bedsit in Todd Bridge, Wales, as well as be bludgeoned and strangled, after to judge she had been sexually assaulted after death. Just five months later, on 24th November 1987, Caroline Pease, 20, disappeared from outside her home, which was less than ma one mile from when Wendy lived. Her body was found in the dike on 15th December 1987. Witnesses reported seeing someone acting suspiciously at both scenes in the weeks leading up to the crimes, including a Corner looking through a window. However, the murderer was in court and the case went cold. That changed during a review in 2020 during the coronavirus pandemic. When investigators got a breakthrough in the DNA evidence, it had pleased to married Fodder, who had lived close to both women's bedsits at the time of the murders, and he was arrested in December of 2020. Fodder for Hillfield in S. East Sussex denied the charges, but when police searched his home, they discovered four hard drives. On them, they found millions of videos and images taken by Fodder between 2008 and 2020, showing him committed acts of ligophenia with bodies in hospital morgalities or morgues. I say he's one of the worst human beings ever to exist on planet Earth. He is one of the most sickest killers out there. He is in fact one of the worst person ever to live. They found millions of images and videos of him committing, uh, forcing upon on 100 bodies between the ages of 8 and 100 years old. And now he's sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole or 29 or 27 life sentences meaning that he would never walk as a free man again. David Fonner worked in electricity, electricity majors in two main stone and Treadbridge Wells NHS hospitals and had full access to all areas including morgue, morgue, morgues. There he had filmed himself abusing at least a hundred victims aged between nine and one hundred years old. It was incompressible that he had to be able to get away with the acts of such sickly crime that no human being was able to commit that in a million years or a billion years. One victim's mother was so distressed she went to the police station armed with a knife. Lewis Colonel whose daughter, Azu was defailed by father, told a reporter, My early thoughts was, he is not going to get away with this. I'd just be told he raped her in hospital when she was dead. I had to find him, punish him. I'm her mother. If I find him, I'm 99.99% .99 sure I'd put that knife straight through his heart because he put a knife through mine. The thought of him finally to her, of touch her hair, touch her skin. She is now calling for toughest sensitives to be introduced for this vile crime. Thank you for watching this video and she'll see you later.